Rock a fist! Wow! Wow! See, if we would have rolled on those blocks, we would have fell through, so we used the bomb to just propel us. Hmm. Whoops. Okay, cut. Be a little finicky, I'll see. Plus, you can destroy a few more, more, more fall blocks than. Again, with one bomb. This looks like a speed boost section. Yeah, I. I don't know. Oh well. We're off to, I think this is the last area of the game. Maybe the final. Get into the final boss. I'm not sure. I know we got like two more upgrades. Then we're done. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, we got ammo. Yep. <laughs> but uh, now we got to talk to Adam again. Uploading data. Surface. You finally made it, Samus. There is still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the X parasites. But Raven Beat is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. He will try to escape once he detects the danger. Raven Beat's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. You will never give up. The odds are still not in your favor, but you must end things here. I am searching for his location. Return here later for an update. Enemies got tougher in this area? Uh, I don't know. They're kind of just the same old schmucks we've been fighting. Can't go through that yet. You know what I think would be great for uh, a new first-person Metroid game? Is random, en random en enemy generation hmm. in ra like just random places instead of them having set spawn points. I think it would be a lot cooler if they had random generated spots. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, if they, if somebody even just made a, a Metroidvania like that, I don't know if Metroid fans would like it because a lot of people like the sort of patterns to enemies because. Uh, well, that's not how it would be if Samus was real. It's true. But uh, we don't want to ruin the nerds' dreams. Did you just make him suck a bomb? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, if he can actually shoot you through that space. I've opened that up before, and he's just like, Got you now. seen any enemies in a while. Nope. Nothing, uh, can pose a huge threat. Okay, back down. One thing that's kind of neat, there's a lot of jumping between the different, uh, worlds. 
Well, I think Metroid games are normally like that. Yeah, I mean, this is on a cartridge. So it's not like it's a CD where the load times are usually pretty bad. Yeah. But people have to expect, too, that, you know, when game, we're in the age now where games are getting more and more detailed, they're going to have loading times. But I think some people... The issue of load times always frustrates me so much because it's like first world problems. It's like I'm this uh There were a lot worse games back in the day that had a lot worse load times. I don't know why uh Yeah, imagine the difficulty like... they had making Pong. <laughs> <laughs> ah jeez, how do I just get this rectangle to go down? <laughs> oh. I just ate through that guy. Do you have unlimited cross bombs? Yes, and unlimited normal bombs too. Oh yeah, these guys are cool. Oh wait. If you deal them enough damage, they like explode with like cryo energy. And freeze everything. I don't know if it will still... Yeah, like that. Will it still hurt us? Oh yeah, it still Whoa. does hurt us. Oh, stop it. Stop! There's too many things! The uh, Storm Missile was actually first introduced in uh, Metroid Prime 2, Echoes, but it wasn't as good in that game. So the Emmys right now don't present much of a challenge, because you can move faster through water than they can now. Yes. Oh, but... When he can protect me anywhere, so like... At this point, there's no point in uh, hiding or like waiting till they pass by because it will just detect me straight up. Oh, come on. I should have jumped that. Dang it. Once they have you, you can't get out. There's no way you can do a no death run in this game because they catch you once and you're done. I guess you could, but it would be like next to winning the lottery. Well, after I saw the uh, the no carpet Super Mario 64 speed run, you can no. do just about anything. If no, you no carpet. Yeah, it's um, kind of hard to explain, but there's this point in the in the game where you have to take a castle, like a ride through this castle in one of the levels late game. Oh, a uh, rainbow ride. And run? there's a, there's a glitch where you can just like skip that part. And, but it's insanely hard to do, and you have to be, like, pixel perfect. But some guy did it. He saved, like, several minutes off of his time. I always like the no star speed runs in uh, Super Mario 64. Because that's where you have to do the... You, you jump onto a flight of stairs and launch yourself into the last area of the game. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> so apparently the lasers, once you get to the exposed brain, the lasers do a lot more damage.
Oh. <laughs> but you, you still hit him. And that's right? why you don't screw attack into your brain. But you still damaged him with it, right? Yeah. But did he damage you? Uh, I don't think so. Mega laser? Yep, the o Omega Cannon or whatever. It's the only thing that can destroy the enemies. Now this one is interesting because normally with the enemies, the enemies, you have to just kind of run around and find a good area to snipe one. But, uh... Whoops. But for this one, they actually throw you into an area that uh, every time you play through the game, it's the same area that you have to... So... This enemy is kind of linear. Oh, yeah. God. I don't know if he can actually catch you in here. So, it only goes away when you blow up an enemy with it? You only the, uh, use the cannon? The, yeah. yeah, once you kill an enemy, then it goes away. And uh, you're kind of forced to fight the enemy because... Uh... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so you have to try and run through here as quick as you can, and I probably... I should use crossbow. No, 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 stop it. You... First, you gotta blow the face plate off. Huh. And then you. And then once you do that, then you can shoot him. Whoa. Yeah, I can feel the tension there. <laughs> oh, it's super intensive. Like the alarms going off and everything. This game has very good atmosphere. It won uh, Action Game of the Year for 2021. For Switch? Yep. Like, for the Game Awards. Yeah, but like, in general, or just for the Switch? In general. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it was nominated for Game of the Year. And it won it? No. It won Action Game of the Year. Oh. But it didn't wa win Game of the Year. Uh, it Takes Two won that. Right, yeah, yeah. I think. Oh yeah, I can go back up now. So we just have one more at Emmy to destroy. So basically, this new laser we have, we, it can shoot through walls. Nice. So if you get another Omega Cannon, does that shoot through walls too? Uh, I'm not sure actually. I think the Omega Cannon works off of a different yeah. principle. We can destroy the purple barriers. I think this is called the Wave Beam. In Metroid Prime, uh, the Wave Beam was its own separate weapon that uh, dealt electrical damage. It also slightly home, but it was a little bit of a slower shot and it didn't do as much damage as the normal Power Beam, so... It wasn't one you want to use unless the enemy was weak to electricity. Which some enemies were. When I was playing this one boss in Metroid Prime, the giant, the giant guy uh, that absorbs all your stuff, I, I was so close to beating him, and then I lost. And then my, I was going to start over. I was with my friend, and then my mom calls me, and she's like, "I need you to take a bunch of stuff from the car back inside." And I'm like, "No, oh, I like know how to beat him right now." Oh. There we go. There are you. Oh, 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 okay. 
Let's follow this little silly guy. It's a brain. Is it not a brain? So that's something that just keeps showing up throughout the game, but we don't know what it is yet. That's going on. She glows and... She freezes. Yeah, it goes into some sort of panic. Well, Samus has been through a lot. Maybe she's finally starting to develop PTSD. <laughs> well, that was the plot of Metroid Other M, where she was. She did have PTSD. Oh, really? Yeah, huh. because of Ridley. Because Ridley was the one that destroyed her home. Which uh, was a neat idea and concept, but uh, they didn't execute it very well, so... There are unfortunately a lot of video games, TV shows, movies that have really good concepts, but they don't execute them well, so they're not very good. But... Uh-oh. I couldn't move for that sequence. Samus is frying the brain. Whoa. Was that the last one? That was the last one. And it just automatically kills it for us. Gotcha now. Oh, but now we gotta fight this jerk. Oh, and he's got a shield. Oh, I did it too early. I... Okay. Do you have to be right next to him to do that? No, I'm just being a goober. Uh. I'll get the timing of it. Eventually, but I probably won't survive this one. Nope. Seems like you have to be right next to him to hit the shield with your counter. Yeah, I should run at him. Okay, yeah, we'll have to go through this. Uh... But I'll, uh, luckily, we can skip him. Oh, you mean you can just. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, but he... he hurts. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about that pesky shield, we can just... The missiles oh. do the most damage? Yeah, they're the quickest and most... Like, the charge beam technically does more, but... You can just... That attacks very quick, so yeah. <laughs> Take that, you uh -huh. Wow. Sam was just destroyed, like, $36 billion in the property. Mm -hmm. Because technically, these those Emmys were built by the uh, Galactic Federation, so, and they were apparently were the strongest uh, robots ever built. So I imagine they cost a lot of money. <laughs> 